When Dark Phoenix didn't fly, did Fox lose their grip on the mutants of Marvel? When I lose control, bad things happen. On this IMD Brief, we break down what Disney's purchase of Fox means for the studio's mutants and the MCU. Just a few months after Disney bought $71 billion of assets from 21st Century Fox, the studio's 12th X-Men franchise film, Dark Phoenix, bombed and became part of a $170 million loss for the Mouse House. Disney CEO Bob Iger said the Fox studio performance was well below where it had been and well below where we hoped it would be when we made the acquisition. I think we can all agree that just went sideways in the most colossal way. Now, the future is somewhat unknown for Fox Studios projects, including The New Mutants, which at one time was going to be released before Dark Phoenix in April 2018, but is now planned for April 2020. You've been through a lot. Get some rest. With a young cast including Maisie Williams, Charlie Heaton, and Anya Taylor-Joy, the film has gone through numerous reshoots and retools, including replacing John Hamm's Mr. Sinister with Antonio Banderas in a top-secret role. Got it? And reportedly, Disney is still unimpressed with the results, supposedly saying that director Josh Boone's horror genre take on the X-Men has limited box office potential. All of you are dangerous. That's why you're here. As for the rest of the mutants, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige made it clear at San Diego Comic-Con that they'll be joining his MCU in the coming phases of films and Disney Plus series. Avengers! Assemble. Feige didn't announce any specific plans, characters, or titles because he was pretty busy blowing our minds with Blade, Shang-Chi, and Natalie Portman Thor. Sorry, I just needed to make sure you were real. It's been a very strange day. Speaking of the god and goddess of thunder, their new film, Thor Love and Thunder, could very well include a war with the Shi'ar Empire, a powerful alien race of humanoids that descended from, well, birds. The Asgard Shi'ar War in the Mighty Thor comic books is the same storyline where Jane Foster becomes Thor. It's complicated. Although they haven't made an appearance in any of the films just yet, the Shi'ar often cross paths with the X-Men in the comic books, including in the many volumes of the Phoenix Saga because, well, they're bird people. The two-time success of the other Fox mutant, Deadpool, as the sole hard R in a PG-13 Marvel Universe, also makes his future uncertain. Feige and Iger want the Merc with the Mouth to seamlessly transition between Phase 4 films and his own gory sequels. And we think his fourth wall breaking antics could be exactly the bridge they need to keep Deadpool dirty and the Avengers clean. You really gonna f*** this up for me? Trust me. For more Marvelous Mutants and trending tales, stay tuned to imdb.com slash imdbrief.